Okay, YouTube. I switched tool bags. I have been rocking the CLC forever. Um, as you can see, the handle it kept breaking. I had it taped up and stuff. Um, I still like this tool bag. Um, but I figured I'd give this new one, the MCT from Vito, a try. We'll get into that and take a look at that in a sec. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I could get my arm through here like this. But when I go up ladders. And I grab the ladders and go up like that. Um, it fits. I got big hands. So you can see it barely gets in there. On the CLC it was easy. Just get it up your forearm and you're gone up the ladder. So I really like that feature. This will stretch out a bit. It'll work for that pretty confident on it um, so that's it for the old guy let's get into the new one okay this is it the Vito Tech MCT um, props to uh, to Billy Noth for showing the bag on his channel it really piqued my interest so I was like yeah let's give it a try I don't know what the heck do I got in this thing in the front pocket I put my jumper wires this one up here. Oh yeah, I put some little ratchets for my some little sockets for my little ratchets for working on furnaces. I got those in there. Got my bubbler level right here. I put the UEI DL429 on the side with the D ring, just because I I got more room for it with it out there. Put two little screwdrivers here. This one's got the Schrader core remover on it. It's reversible. It can go a Phillips or flathead. Got that at RSD. The wholesaler. This one's from Manitowoc. It has a magnet on the end, so you can start your ice maker with the water curtain off, and it's just a flathead. Got the tape on the taper, the little pocket here, put my tubing cutter in there, then my adapter for the mini splits, that's all I got in there. Up here I put my connectors for the smart probes, I got them both in there, the little 45s. On this side I got my refrigeration wrenches. Big one, small one. I went ahead and put the tape measure on the tape measure holder. I got my paint pan for marking my units. And I got a Sharpie. Oh, and then I got my brush. Here's how I hooked my brush up. Took this connector off the shoulder strap from the CLC bag. And I tie wrapped it onto my brush. This is the brush I get at Home Depot, the HDX. It's in the cleaning section. I like it because it has a longer handle than just the little flat brush. You can really get to scrubbing with this thing. And then this is the other end, what it looks like. I just clip it onto the D-ring right here. It'll fall wherever it falls. You can move it around. So then when you got your bag, it's... So let's see, do the front first. Zip the front. I got some tie wraps in there. My tie wraps. So in the front here, let's get this. I got a bunch of little wrenches for working on furnaces. All these nice little pouches in the front. Let me zoom in on that for you. Here's the little pockets. And I got all my little wrenches in across the front here. And then I got my nut drivers. I got my gear wrenches back here. There's my little ratchet I, that I have the sockets for in that little pocket for working on furnaces. It's just a tiny little ratchet. You can get in there and stuff with a 5 16 or a quarter inch socket on there. Channel locks. Um, 
I just go diagonals. I got some needle nose, my crimpers, and my strippers, screwdrivers, and then two crescent wrenches. And that's all that I run on that side. There's still tons of more pockets in there. Oh, I got some sand cloth up here in the little neoprene pocket. And there's room for more, tons of more stuff. And then on the back side, okay, I got my wire connectors in there. I just have it sitting down there. Um, I got my headlamp it was sitting up there. I got the two temperature readers for the smart probes. Okay, then we got the smart probes up in here. back on that side um, I got my robin air gauge I still run that I got my torx wrenches on this side let's get those out of there there they are I got my flashlight in this pocket my tubing cutters That's all I'm running in there. Down here in this pocket, I got my reamers, my night locks, and my leak lock. And there's still more room. There's little pouches right there. I got my mirror up here. I run the field piece mirror with the flashlight built into it. The little LED fits nicely right up there. And then up here in this big neoprene pocket, I put the electrical scabber up there. You know, your little cord for stealing power off a disconnect when you're up on the roof. And you can't find power. That actually fits pretty nice right up here. And I was running him up in there. There we go. And as you can see, there's tons of room. Let's get the smart probes in there like that. Tubing cutter, and the flashlight, oh, I think I still got oh yeah, that pocket I'm putting this guy in, doop, doop, doop. And then for what I do, that's all I need. Um, I don't have my drill hooked on here or my little impact. Um, I didn't have it in the CLC bag either. Um, that's it, the Tech MCT Vito Pro Pack. Nice shoulder strap. I really like the shoulder strap. So, it's a nice bag. I'm digging it. Like I said, I got my meter on the side because you use the meter more than anything else. So I go to that first. Um, and that's that's the bag. My brush hanging on the side seems to be well made. Lots of D-rings to clip more stuff on if you need to. And uh, I think it's going to work out pretty well for myself. I'm liking it. All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.